Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, my hair has gotten longer since the last time you saw me. Um, I got extensions in for Coachella. I leave next Wednesday, so I'm just so excited now. I can't wait. We're on the last week now, the last week countdown. Second of all, sorry, I'm shooting this video from the same spot again. Honestly, if you could see my room right now, you'd understand why I'm always doing it from the same corner. It's like the one tidy corner. What you can see here is the tidy part. Okay, and third of all, um, today is the best day to do this video. I've been promising it for ages. It's my how to kind of master the art of outfit planning video. And I've said for ages I was gonna do it, but today I finally got all of my Coachella outfits sorted. Um, the last bit of my third outfit arrived today and I'm really happy with all of them. I just can't wait to wear them. I am a little bit unsure because now I obviously, I've kind of got more than than I need, but we'll get there. Anyway, okay, uh, let's get started. So this video is basically gonna be about kind of learning where you can go for outfit ideas and how you can bring those outfit ideas to life. Some days I think it comes really naturally to us, we don't even give it a second thought, and then some days you literally can't get dressed. I think in particular when, it's got, when you've got a big event coming up, you want to kind of plan an outfit that you know you're really gonna love, and you might have different ideas in your head of what you're looking for. So in that case, it's good to have a few different ideas for how you can go about outfit planning. And I thought I'd give you some tips on what I do, seeing as I literally do it every day, a couple of times a day. So hopefully I can share something that will help. Okay, so the first part of outfit planning is getting the ideas and getting the inspiration. There are four main places that I get my inspiration from. The first one is Pinterest. If I have a certain event that I'm going to or if I have a certain idea in my head or if I have one piece of clothing that I'm trying to base an outfit around, I'll type in those keywords into the search bar on, Pin on Pinterest and loads of different ideas will come up. And it's honestly brilliant. Um, you just be creative with your keywords and you'll get loads of picture ideas and it just sparks another idea. A couple of my outfits from Coachella are kind of sparked from different outfits that I saw on Pinterest. Oh, and one other thing, you can make little boards. So what I have is for, say if I ever have a black tide event coming up, I have a whole board full of ball gowns. So that's where I go straight away when I'm looking for inspiration. I also have another board for street style on my Pinterest. So if I'm ever like completely stuck for ideas, I'll go on there, have a quick look and surely I can find something in my wardrobe that's similar. The second place would be celebrities and their stylists. I love looking at like Gigi Hadid and her stylist, Mimi Cottrell or Kendall Jenner, um, Chrissy Teigen. They used to be styled, I'm not sure if they still are styled by Monica Rose. And then there's a couple other Irish stylists. Um, Jolie is a really good one, I'll put her, her handle here. So if I'm ever stuck for outfit ideas, I'll just go onto one of their Instagrams and have a look. And you'll be surprised what you can come up with just by looking at other people's outfits. The third place I'd go for inspiration is fashion bloggers. Um, I'm a fashion blogger myself and it's a huge part of a fashion blogger's job to come up with different outfits all the time. So it can be like casual outfits, everyday outfits, or even stuff that's a little bit more dressy. But um, I love looking to the international bloggers to see what they're wearing and how they're doing it because they do it a little bit differently. But then also looking to my friends, my Irish bloggers, friends as well, um, and just seeing what they're wearing and where, where are they buying their clothes and that kind of thing. But I suppose my favourite um, international bloggers for looking at their style and stuff would be Xenia Overdose. She does casual really well and she does um, statement pieces really well in her like everyday style. Uh, I love Sincerely Jules. She does lovely casual wear, especially like summer times. So if I'm ever going on holidays, I'll look to her. Jordan Sloan, I love her outfits. They're really like 90s and really kind of edgy and cool. And I think my wardrobe could probably do with a little bit more of that every now and again. But there are so many bloggers every single day with unreal outfits. Let me know if you have certain people that you look to for inspiration because I'm always looking for more people to follow. The fourth and final place I'll go for inspiration is actually onto online shops themselves. You'd actually forget that when they're doing the shoots for those online shops, they get stylists in to pair and match and style each model before they go and take the photos. So if I'm looking at a skirt, I'll see what kind of top have they paired with that? Do they have a belt with it? Do I need that? Do I have something similar that I can kind of match up myself? Um, so I do find that's like a really good way to online shop because then you're not buying something that you don't have something to wear with. I find NAKD in particular are really good for kind of pairing different pieces together. So I thought I'd show you three different outfits that I've styled and where I got the inspiration for each of them. So the first one was a photo shoot I did in London for my blog a couple of months ago. And this outfit inspiration came from Olivia Palermo, who's one of my favorite 
you know, a celebrity's for style. She wore a skirt similar to this, the monochrome striped skirt with a jumper at uh, one of the fashion weeks. I think I saw it when I was searching for fashion week outfits months ago. But um, I thought it was cool paired with a t-shirt and a leather jacket. I thought it kind of gave it a little bit of an edge. The next photo is an airport outfit. I got this inspiration from Xenia Overdose, who I said was one of my favorite bloggers to follow. She had a black hoodie inside a, a kind of camel blazer. So I did the exact same. So I guess that was more copying than it was <laughs> inspiration. But I suppose I styled it up a little bit differently. And the third outfit is actually from the NAKD website. I bought the top and the trousers because I loved how they'd styled them up together on the website. Okay, so the next step in this process, once you've decided what you're looking for, is to figure out where and how you go about finding those pieces. First of all, I would suggest checking out all of your usual online shops. I did a blog post on the online shops that I go to most often there a couple months ago, so I'll link that below. Um, and they're kind of the ones that I would hit up when I'm looking for something in particular. Usually I'll use the search box. If I can find it on one of those websites, I would head over to Google and literally just Google it and see what comes up. You'd be surprised. Sometimes, you know, it can be it can be unachievable. They can be from foreign shops that can't deliver to Ireland or, you know, there could be they could be too expensive, but it's definitely worth a try and it's worth a look because I found a couple of things that way. And the third thing I would do is I would check vintage shops. Uh, one place in particular that I found really good, especially for Ace or for Coachella outfits was ASOS Marketplace. There's loads of vintage shops on there. There's loads of like separate online boutiques on there with loads of really nice stuff. Loads, sorry, I keep saying loads. But with loads of really nice stuff um, that you wouldn't see on normal online shops and they're not like super expensive because they're kind of just independent retailers. Another place would be Etsy. Um, a lot of homemade stuff on there as well. And I suppose any, any online, any secondhand shops you can think of. Depop would be another really good one. You can search on there for kind of what you're looking for. Um, I would check out if you're in Dublin, Shop Ella is a really good shop. Um, I suppose just to think outside the box, uh, if they don't have it in shops right now, maybe they did before, maybe there's somewhere you can find it. eBay, Amazon. I'm just like, this is how I think when I'm looking for something and I really have my heart set on it. I have to find it. Okay, and the third and final step in the process, it doesn't apply to everyone, but if you can't find it, what do you do? The first thing to do would be to try and make it yourself. Um, bit of a DIY job. I did this the other day with a jacket. You might have seen it on my Insta stories. I wanted one with loads of badges and loads of patches and I just couldn't find one. So I did find a vintage jacket with some patches on Etsy and then I bought some more patches and some more pins and badges and stuck those on myself. And now I have the jacket that I wanted. The second step would be to get help to DIY it. So reach out to a designer or even just go into a tailoring service like Zipyard and you know bring in the different pieces and tell them how you want to put it together. So that's just being creative, I suppose, to try and create this look that you have in your head. I actually did this for Coachella as well. And my third tip, if you can't find what you're looking for, is to think outside the box and see if you can create something similar. It doesn't have to be exactly what you're looking for, but just, you know, be open to the fact that it might be slightly different. You might love it even more in the end, especially if you put the effort into kind of being that creative and making it yourself. You love it even more. Trust me, my denim jacket I kind of ruined while I was, um, making it but I still love it now because it's my own. Okay, there are all my tips. Um, sorry if it's a bit all over the place. I'm just, I tried to just give you everything that I genuinely do. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll try and answer them. But yeah, hopefully it's helpful and I really hope you like my Coachella outfits and my LA outfits. I feel like I've never spent so much time planning. I'm just so excited to wear my outfits. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I will be back next week with a travel video from the cruise. I'm going on a little, a short kind of sailing cruise for a day and a half with the Royal Caribbean next week, or this week. So I'm gonna vlog it and I'll show you as much as I can. Thanks so much for watching guys, see you soon.